Perkery's mad at me. He didn't get to be in the Ken C. Koopa fight. I'd be mad too. Anyways, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we took on Ken C. Koopa and kicked his ass. And now we're going to take a quick trip to Star Road because there's something I want to uh, check out. I want to check out the badges they've got there. And then we'll start uh, Chapter 6. This will be the last thing I'm going to record today because I'm just... I'm not feeling the Paper Mario today. I'm just kind of like mellow down. I'm like... I was like, all ready to go, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to record Paper Mario today, and then I'm like, uh, I actually don't want to record that much. Recording a lot takes <laughs> takes a lot out of you, a lot more out of you, and I kind of want to eat lunch, too, so... Anyways, let's go over here. It's empty. Oh, yeah, we haven't placed any of the goodies in there yet. Shit. I have to remember to do that next chapter, next uh, end of chapter, because there's so many badges... My practice file, I've been sending the badges over, but in here I haven't been, so... But let's see what badges are available from Merlo. I have 25 star pieces. Uh, HP drain. Decreases Mario's attack by ever. Restores my HP. Money, money. After a battle, let's buy you get twice as many quits as usual. A power plus. Another power plus. That would be good. During battle, saves 1 FP every time you attack. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't tell you how much FP these take, too, which kind of sucks. Um, power plus. Let's see. I could use more power. Who could? Who couldn't use more power? It takes six, though. And I don't want to remove Defense Plus. So I guess there's not really anything I need to get here. You know what? Just for the hell of it, though... I'm going to get the Attack FXA. Just to have. So, let's equip that badge. I like the sound it makes. Hehe. <laughs> but now we've wasted a good three minutes almost. Let's uh let's start the next chapter, shall we? Um This chapter and the next one I actually don't know that well and I was surprised I was able to get through it pretty fairly easily. That's probably thanks to Hedonia, because Hedonia his let's plays for this game has been really helpful for helping me. It made... I probably could have figured out Flower Fields by myself without his help, but... Mind you, I was just going off memory what he did, and I don't have a very good memory for stuff like that. So, I was amazed with myself that I was able to get as much of it done as I could. So anyways... Oh, let's keep the Flower Fields land called Flower Fields! They say flowers and flower fields are in trouble. To get the Flower Fields, you need the kind of seeds that only bubbles possess. But where are the bubbles? Please, Mario, you must look for the bubbles and get the seeds from them. Well, I already did, so... Here's, uh, here's one of them. So she'll go plant them. And that arch shape thing isn't just there for looks, n people, so... You're about to find out what it does, exactly. As she plants these flowers, or these seeds, that ironically turn into flowers right away. So there we go, that's all four of the magical seeds. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh my god, it's a door! But where does it lead? I'll go to Flower Fields. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go to Flower Fields already, jeez. Alright. The Dark Days and Flower Fields. This chapter is actually fairly short, so I, you know what? I might do all of it today. What ho? Now who might that be? Ho 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 ho. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Up here, son. They call me Wise Whistlewood. I am the oldest tree here in Flower Fields, in the land of, 
in the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. Dunno, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of your world, aren't you? Very noble. If that's true, then your arrival means the star spirit is here in our land. Mm. Would you help your... I would help you on your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flowerfield is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers have invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh ho. Oh ho? Oh ho. You're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, then that would make wishes of flower fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the Cloudy Climb. There's no way to get up there. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a rah, rah. So I have to find a magic bean and the stuff to grow a magic bean. But basically, this entire chapter is nothing but side quests. It's That's, that's the whole chapter. It's like one big side quest. But it's not a side quest because you have to do it. So we can't go here yet. And there's a lot of these rooms we can't do anything in them yet. We we can't go here yet. See, when one of those flowers is blocking the way, you have to give them a certain kind of berry uh, that co coordinates with their color. And no, I know there's star pieces in there, but I can't get them. Jeez. This way. Again, we can't go this way. So we don't have the berries that we need. So one of the few ways we can go are these two over here. So, uh, and here's the enemies for this area, I'll show you. There's an enemy here. I wasn't able to find it in my practice file, but there's an enemy here. One of these flower things, a shiny gold one. It gives you, like, 20 star points for fighting it. Anyways, these are the flower guys, I think they're called. They're crazy daisies. <laughs> so I'll just show you real quick. They're pretty tough, I guess. But with the amount of damage we do now, they're not even trouble. The only problem is this attack here. It's hard to block, and sometimes it makes you dizzy. See? Hard as hell to block. I can't figure it out. I love the extra sound effects. It makes it sound so epic. So there we go. That's a crazy daisy down. Or two of them. And they don't give that many star points right now, but, uh, and they won't after I level up, but you know what? And don't hit these trees, and watch out for these bees. Aw, oh, damn it. They do a ton of damage, but they have, like, no HP. See, one jump kills them. I didn't even have to do the acting command. Thank God for that happy heart, though. And, wow, I'm missing the action command with Paracarry a lot here. They also give two star points. I pretty much just avoid them, though, because they really are a pain in the butt. I don't really want to fight a lot of the enemies here anyway, so... Okay, here's our first issue. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I began to droop and have no energy at all. Without the sun, it seems like the whole world is sad. Yeah, I don't really want to read a lot of the dialogue in here. Basically, we gotta get rid of these mole guys. They're not that tough, but we gotta get rid of them. So, I'm sorry I'm skipping a lot of the dialogue, but I just don't like the di I just don't like this chapter. I want to get it done as quick as possible. So, we're gonna do all these fights. These fights actually won't take that long. Excuse me for sniffling, but yeah, I'll show this and then I'll cut the other ones out. Alrighty. See, two star points, nothing big. But we gotta kill them all. Ah, there we go, gotcha. Alright, that's all the moles. And we're not supposed to worry about this guy behind here, but... <laughs> I like chasing him. He, 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 chase, chase, chase. Okay, 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 stop. 
Bye. Am I a jerk for going after the flower guy? I don't know. But anyways. She's thankful that we helped her. So we get a magical bean! Um, she told us not to plant it, but we're gonna have to plant it anyways. So, yeah. Again, I apologize for skipping dialogue. I just don't want to read it. Okay, so red berry and two red berries. Okay. We only need one of them, but... It doesn't hurt to have more than one, right? So, let's get, continue on. It says 14 minutes, but I have a couple battles to cut out, so... Um, now that I have the red berry... First, actually, I should go over here, and there's something else I need to get, too. So, let's go over here. Uh, where's the... You can do something over here, but I forget what. Oh, shit, you can't do this. I can't do this yet. Hey, a stinky herb. Actually, I'll eat that right now. It gives 5 FP. A little useful thing to use in between battles. I forgot to deposit all my items, too. Shit, I probably should have done that. Now, which one's the red? That's the yellow. And I think this is the red here. So, yep. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You wanted to pass through here? Huh? No, sorry, I couldn't possibly let you through. Well, perhaps you could make an exception if you give me something delicious to eat. And he's red, so he likes red berries. See, he eats it right up, and then he lets us through. It's like a heart shape with a mouth, I guess? I don't know. Damn it! Okay, I'll leave this battle in because there's the first of the little Huff and Puff clouds. Rough Puff, I guess you could call them. So I'm gonna go for him. And they're just standard enemies. You'll see a lot more of them later when we fight Huff and Puff. So there goes the B. Damn it, I've, I've fucked up the action command so many times in this. Um, part of the playthrough, I just realized. Oh, my gypsy lady still is around because she's giving me an attack bonus I don't need. Thank you. Let me thank you in person. Alright, so, anyways, that's down. I think after I do this little slew here, I'll probably end this recording. I might record later on in the afternoon, but we'll see how that goes. There's a star piece under a panel here. Where's the panel? Damn it. Alright, sorry about that. Um, let's uh, try and find this hidden panel. It's here somewhere. There it is. Actually, what are the... Red. Restore 5 HP. You know what, I'll just eat it now. I'm not gonna be using it, so... I know there's stuff I'm missing, but I'm not keeping it. This is 3 HP and 3 FP, so I need, and I need those for the next little part. Let's just go over here. Here we go. Look at the crystal tree. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Hmm, what's wrong with my mouth? It's my nose. How <laughs> rude. Alright, so basically, um... Uh, we need fertile soil, so she's going to give us the fertile soil. Um, we're going to have to come back here later, so it's a good thing we came here now. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I mean, I'm going to do more of this, but I'm not going to do it right away. So, like I said, uh, I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to get some lunch, and then I'll do a little bit of this. Uh, yeah, next time we'll be able to go to the yellow flower and do that part of the side quest. So, I will see you guys then, and have a good one. Take care.